All right, everybody, I want to give you an update on the storm timing for the morning. Some of you may not see this until the morning. Jeff DeNoyers will have an update on WFF 40 News in the morning. And the reason I'm updating you is because the, the line in the morning is looking delayed in the latest model guidance. In fact, two of the, uh, two of the three high resolution guidance now delaying it. And the reason I'm really looking close at this is because everything I've done today, this Saturday, has been delayed. So it's a sign. And I'm thinking some of the storms tomorrow morning will actually be stronger and they may not move in until 11 o'clock in the morning. So let's get into the latest data here. And what we're seeing here is early in the morning, 720, that instability growing and developing and continuing. But the fact, initially the model had the storms moving in around 7 o'clock. And again, this could still go back to that. But as of uh, just after 11 o'clock Saturday night, this line of storms has not formed yet, so it is even delayed to the north as well. So what that means is, as you see here, notice the, the big change here with the instability. We've got all, over 3,000 joules per kilogram of, of instability with the Cape ahead of this main line. That means it's going to intensify. If this is the case, there's no way this is going to weaken. So that increases the large hail threat and it increases the damaging wind threat as we go through time. So it's a bigger concern for the morning than I had earlier in the day today. So again, I just want to bring that to your attention. This plows to the southeast, so this is a concern again out here for Hydrofest on the lake. Earlier, it looked like they were going to get a nice break. This may not be the case. So. That's what's been so difficult is forecasting this. Uh, so by this time, the severe threat would be over. This is 2.30 in the afternoon. And then as we continue on, this complex will just continue to plow into uh, the rest of Alabama as it pretty much goes on. Notice out to the west, here's another really interesting thing going on. Notice how this outflow is intersecting the new complex of storms that's developing. So that, if that happens that way, that would completely choke that off. So that's something to really watch. So again, this is such a complicated mess now. Gonna go back through this and you can just see how high instability, as we come back to me real quick, this, this high instability is the key to everything when it comes to these complexes of storm. They are going to feed into this and that's that looks really nasty, roughly from 11 a.m. tomorrow through about 2.30 in the afternoon. And as that plows south, notice the secondary one over here in Arkansas forming, but they basically collide. So again, I thought it was important I wanted to bring this to you because it's a bit of a change in the, in the thoughts that we had on this. And this has changed every day, basically. So again, just wanted to bring you that update. Again, Jeff DeNora, so I'll have the latest on this as this is moving in. So this will be formed roughly at 7, 8 in the morning in Middle Tennessee as it drops in from the north.